Hello everybody, welcome to this week's story. Now, I don't know if you remember, but last week we spoke about a bee called Bellamy, who was very sad because a friend of his had died and he was mourning for him, but he tried to pretend that everything was fine, when in fact it wasn't, and it got him into a bit of trouble. You know, he was getting very moody and very angry with everybody because he wasn't allowing his feelings to come out. And God wants us to show our feelings. He doesn't want us to hide them. So, this week's story is about a bee called Betsy. And she goes berserk. So let's see what that's about. Betsy B thought of herself as very meek indeed. That's a strange word, meek. It means being um, timid or quiet, or, you know, not loud or boisterous. She was very meek. She always tried to be kind to people. She was very sympathetic towards Bellamy when his friend Bernard died. And she worked very hard every day, collecting the pollen to keep the Queen happy and, of course, to make lots of honey. Betsy did her best to get along with all the other bees. She was kind and considerate, gentle and compassionate. Most of the bees agreed that Betsy was very meek indeed. But some of the bees, Bartholomew and Basil B, for example, weren't convinced. They knew about meekness. They knew it was power under control. And while they were convinced that Betsy knew how to be gentle, and while they were also convinced that Betsy was actually a very strong bee, you couldn't argue with the huge amounts of pollen that she brought back every day. They had also seen what had happened one day when little Lucy had tried shooing Betsy away from her garden? They had seen how angry Betsy had become and how quickly. They saw how aggressive she became. This was power, but it didn't look like it was under control. However, Betsy had managed to calm down and fly away from the garden. For most of the time, Betsy collected pollen from the wildflowers that grew on the far side of Farmer Smith's farm. They were good flowers and they smelled very sweet. But always on the way back, Betsy would fly over Lucy's flowers and smell how much sweeter they were, how much she'd enjoyed those flowers before. But Betsy kept flying because she remembered what had happened the last time she was there. She knew that the Queen would be very unhappy with her if she stung a little girl. Towards the end of the summer, the flowers at the far side of the farm started to die off. And try as Betsy could, she just couldn't find any more flowers to collect pollen from. Except from Lucy's little garden. There were still lots of flowers there. Lucy and her mum and her little brother Andy had spent much time watering and looking after all those flowers. Betsy tried to fly past, but she couldn't resist. Anyway, she thought, there wouldn't be a problem. All the bees said that she was a very meek bee. So she dived into the flower patch, just as Lucy was starting to water the flowers. Betsy was just beginning to get herself covered in pollen when suddenly she was soaking wet. She was furious. How dare someone pour water on her? She flew out of the flower and headed straight towards Lucy. The little girl started to shoo Betsy away. Then Lucy hit Betsy's wing with her hand. Betsy was now out of control. She pulled out her stinger, dived at Lucy and stung her on the arm. Lucy burst into tears and began to call her mum. Lucy's mum rushed out, but by now Betsy had gone berserk. She flew at Lucy's mum and stung her. And then she stung the brother Andy. And then she flew at Lucy's mum again. Lucy, Andy and their mum retreated quickly inside. Betsy was still angry when she got to the beehive, but that wasn't the worst of it.
Lucy, Andy and their mum would be just fine. They had some special cream to fix the bee sting. But Basil had seen the whole thing and had told the Queen. Betsy wasn't meek at all. Meekness was power under control. Betsy was out of control. The Queen summoned Betsy and Betsy knew she was in trouble. So, if you listen to next week's story, we'll find out what happened to Betsy. So until then, have a great weekend. Bye.